Hey kids, it's Rhonda here from Flowers and More by Rhonda, and I'm here to bring you my design team goodies from Gone Artsy. Uh, these are my July, August, and September products, so I'm just going to share them all with you uh, in this one video. And I want you to be sure to check out the Gone Artsy YouTube channel as designer and owner Deb uh, will be bringing you uh, product reviews. So that way you can get these products um, a little more information on them and you know how long they're going to be in the shop as well as uh, you can view them a lot better. Because sometimes the pictures just don't do things justice. So, you know, this way you can see them a little bit better. So be sure to check those out. Uh, I believe she's going to be doing those weekly. And uh, um, that way you can find out more information. Pretty cool, huh? I think so. All right. Well, now I'm going to, I've got quite a bit of stuff here. So just bear with me. And I'm sort of just going to go down the line uh, from my sheet here. And first thing I'm going to tell you all about is the seam binding. Um, I've had some of these colors before. I'm not even going to take these out. But when you purchase them, uh, this is how they come. Wrapped in a nice little bundle and uh, tied with uh, Baker's twine. And the cool thing about the Baker's twine is it's long enough that you can salvage it and use for smaller projects. So that's pretty cool. I'm a two for one kind of gal. So heck yeah. Uh, these is just, let's see, one, two, three, four. I have six uh, colors of the many that she has in the shop. And uh, you get these in five yard increments. And I love this seam binding that she sells. It's got a beautiful little shine to it. And I use this um, more so than I do, say, just regular ribbons for my florals when I'm doing them. So, yeah, pretty cool, huh? Awesome, awesome. Okay, and again, that's just a few of the beautiful colors that she has. Now, uh, Deb carries these glycine bags. And again, I could be saying those wrong. And they're great for altering. Okay. And they come in. Let me count this real quick. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let me make sure that's right. Yes, you get a set of ten. Set of ten of these. Now, these are not only great to alter, if you have some type of small jewelry business, hey, great little bags just to use for, you know, your customers. Um, but my father, many, many, many years ago, received a card. And it was a funny get well card. And it was made out of a brown paper bag, just like this. And it said, I couldn't afford a card, but here's the bag that it would have come in. And it was folded over like so. So if you're a card maker, this would be a really cute card to make for someone. Okay. And I've even done wedding invitations on brown paper bags. And uh, their theme was sort of redneck, kind of. They got married at a fishing lake. They both had been married before. It was just something fun to do. It was... His second, her third, I believe. Yeah. So they just wanted to make it fun. And uh, so, yeah, they had me do them on brown paper bags. Who knew? Pretty fun. Okay. So, moving on to the next item. And Deb has buku tons of new products in the shop. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to show you these. Now, for all those thick pen makers out there, um, Deb now carries a five inch uh, hat pen or stick pen and you can get it in gold tone and you can get it in silver tone and they come with a little stopper on them like so 
this is the gold, this is the silver. I'm pretty sure it might be a little difficult to see like that. So let me do this here real quick. That way you can probably see. My lighting is not the greatest. Uh, and then they have the uh, heads at the tips. And I like the bigger stick pins. I don't know why, I just do. So if you're a stick pin maker, you might want to check into these. Okay, alrighty. Now, next on our list here is, okay, we have the Fab Scraps Off the Page Triangle Box. And this would be adorable to fix like a little jewelry box or something for a little girl. Uh, Deb also has this shown in the product review and it's wrapped in cellophane when you receive it. So I'm going to open it up quickly here so that way you can see. So aside. So I can slide it back in. But it's a paper mache. Put these over here. And it has a little snap closure and it opens up like so. Ta-da! And then it has the little compartments. You know. Fun, fun. So that would be cute to fix up for a little girl. Uh, and she could put little hair pieces in it or her jewelry in it. You know. Or you can do it up, you know, for a fellow crafter and fill it full of craft goodies. You know, or just fill it up and make it a cute little talking piece. Ha <laughs> ha. There you go. Isn't that adorable? Okay. Moving on. Let's see what we have next. We have the mini clear opaque hair combs. And these are great. Um, if you fix up any type of hair pieces. Now these come in a set of four. Deb also has the uh, wider ones. And they are a little bit more uh, curved. And you get a set of two of those. And they're a hard, nice hard acrylic plastic. But these are great. Like if you sew and create uh, hair pieces, like wedding veils, that's what these are great for. And they have the little eyelets right here in the corners where you can uh, sew whatever you might need to sew on. Or if you just make small little um, hair pieces for little girls. Again, these are coming in a set of four, and you can find these in the bridal section. So, back to the bridal. If you are a DIY bride, you want to check out Gone Artsy because they have a lot of bridal supplies from bouquet holders, uh, headpieces, beautiful. She has some beautiful crystal headpieces. Oh, gosh. Um, and then, like these, the headbands. So, if you're going to do something for like flower girls in your wedding, or if you just make headbands, you can get a silver tone or a gold tone. Uh, these are fabulously priced. And, uh, you know, you don't have to just make headbands on them. I did a crown, uh, gosh, last fall, and it was uh, for Halloween. And uh, this was, I used this for the base of it. So, yes, Deb's shop is definitely for the DIY bride. And in addition to the laces that you can get, you know, for your, um, you know. And speaking of which, here is another piece that is fabulous for when you're doing uh, your bridal. This is Deb's Mesh Bling, and it's uh, just a little over four and a half inches wide, almost four and three quarters. Uh, you can cut this apart, use it anywhere you want. It's not heavy, it's nice and light. I just absolutely love this stuff. I have done several projects with it in the past. So be sure to check out her bridal. I'm trying to make sure I get all the most of the bridal stuff at one time here talked about. Okay. 
uh, and like her, it's a lot of her embellishments. So this would be absolutely beautiful if you made yourself a waist, um, uh, you know, a belt for around your waist or uh, something for your, you could even, you know, create yourself a headpiece with this, you know. So this is one of her beautiful embellishments that she carries in the shop. All right, let's see. Now, let's go back to the paper here. So I'm jumping way ahead of myself. Okay, uh, this is a three row, three row half round ABS pearl trim. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, this trim, I didn't know if I would like it. As I looked at it in the shop, you know, pictures again, sometimes just don't do justice. And I have just now fallen in love with a new piece of Gone Artsy product. Uh, this is my first time, you know, uh, receiving this. And I love it. Love, love, love it. So I'm really thrilled about this piece. Okay. Super stoked. Yes, indeed. All right, we're going to lay that piece right there. Uh, Deb has a few appliques in the shop, and this is just one of the appliques that she carries. It's very beautiful, very detailed. Um, a lot of her appliques, I mean, she has some, oh my gosh, I mean, they're like huge. And then she has some smaller ones, and this one, of course. And this one is synthetic. And again, you can, uh, you know, dye to match. Please remember, though, that your synthetics dye lighter than, say, your cotton. And uh, again, if you check out the Gone Artsy YouTube channel, you will find uh, uh, a couple about I think there's three videos of different dyeing techniques. There's natural dyes, there's your uh, chemical dyes, um, and a lot of things that you can just use that you have around the house that you can use to color your uh, laces with and uh, your appliques and such. And again, uh, find those on the Gone Arts YouTube channel. And she did those, I believe, last year. So they're, they're more towards the, uh, the beginning of the channel. <clears throat> but there's a lot of good tips. And if you visit the Gone Artsy fan page on Facebook and go in the notes, uh, there is some um, ideas there to also help you on sign techniques. Okay. Next, I'm going to share with you the Spinabar uh, by Prima Mechanicals Metal Embellishment. And these are the 10 hearts. Again, a new product in the shop. And these are just the cutest. Now, you probably can't see them here as well, but, oh my gosh, they're so cute. Some look like patchwork. Some look rusted. Uh, they're just really cute. And um, they're, they're very nice size pieces of metal. And I love metals. So, you want to check those out. And then we have the Prima Marking Mechanical Metal Embellishments by Finnebar, and these are pocket watches. And they also have that uh, rust look to them. They're just adorable. So, these would be great on steampunk, you know, uh, anything vintage, mail, you know, pretty awesome there. Okay, next we have the Vintage Emporium Brads, and I just thought these were absolutely adorable. Um, there's birds and butterflies and uh, sayings and flowers, and then we have some, uh, some brads on there they are just solid colors, and then we have some brads that are roses. Very cute. And you can always uh, snip off the box of these and, you know, just use the, the uh, front piece. You didn't actually have to use them as a brad. Uh, you can just use them as metal embellishments anywhere. So, all right. Now we have the Prima 
Ingvild's Balloon Collection, Shabby Chic Treasures, Resin Embellishments, and these are bodices and, um, oh, oh, dress forms. Okay, and here you go. And Deb also has other uh, embellishments like these in the resin. So be sure to check those out. This one's called Mannequins, by the way. Okay. Now let me lay this sheet aside because these are my... Okay. Now I want to show you all, uh, which I have shown before. Let me get these out of the way. Deb carries uh, glitter glass in the shop and they all come in these cute little jars and they all come with a peacock uh, embellishment charm and they all are marked with their colors. This one is red fusion. This one is golden raspberry. This is pink sunrise. And this one is cinnamon toast. And the cool thing is you can always reuse these little bottles and I think these little jars sitting on a shelf are absolutely adorable. So we're going to move these right on over here where I have some more of my collection of her beautiful glitter glass. Okay. Now then. And then we'll go over that. Alright. Deb has this new item in the shop that I am absolutely in love with. And here it is. It comes in two pieces. I just uh, screwed this piece on. And then it, here's the bottom of it. Okay. And it um, it is called an alterable metal pedestal style frame and earring holder. And it comes in a yellow. And Deb also has one that is not with a pedestal that's a pink. Now, you can use this as a picture frame. You can use it to hang your earrings, as it mentions. Um, our DT Linda altered one of these using the uh, Finnabar Mixed Media uh, Rusting Kit. And uh, you can find that over on the Gone Artsy fan page, the link to it. And it was really cool the way that she did it. And it is distressed some, but if you wanted to do more, that kit that Deb also sells in the shop would be awesome to use on it. But you could put a picture here, or you could, uh, this would be cute, say, at a wedding guest table. Put the numbers on the uh, wedding tables. Or say where you do the guest book signing, you could put a picture in it of the bride and the groom. You know, I'd hear it here. Uh, so this has a lot of potential and a lot of different things to use for. So I think that's pretty awesome. All right. Next up, we have, once I find it, here we go. Deb carries um, stencils in her shop. And she has some various styles and sizes. And this is just one. And this one is called the Harlequin. I knew it, but I couldn't think of it. So uh, I didn't I, I didn't know it was gonna be this big, so I was really impressed. So this would be great to use, you know, say on uh, composition notebooks if you are into altering those. That would really be cool. So I'll be sure to check out her stencils. Alrighty. Now, moving on. This item, once I find it, here we go. This item has sold out. But I'm going to go ahead and show it to you because uh, Deb believes that she can still order this if anyone is interested. But Prima has, I guess, are doing away with this line. And it's... Um, Tales of You and Me, and uh, but this, I just think they're absolutely adorable. They're wood embellishments, and of course you get the cute little wooden box you can always do something with too. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you these because she believes that these are still available, 
not saying they are, uh, but if you would be interested in these, you could always check with her to see if she could possibly still get these. Because, uh, you know, she doesn't mind checking to, to see. But once this line has sold out, uh, she wasn't going to carry anything else because of the fact that they were doing away with the uh, Tales of You and Me line. So, uh, if interested in these, please contact her and see what she can do for you. Not saying that she can reorder them, but uh, it doesn't hurt to check. So, you know, when they decide they don't want to carry them anymore, well, they just don't have to because, well, that's, you know, that's their line, Primo's. Okay. Next, Deb is now carrying scare, scare tape. Oh, my goodness. Score tape in the shop. And I'm absolutely thrilled because if anyone has seen some of my videos, I have used score tape on projects and uh, she has various sizes this one of course is the 3 8 inch uh, score tape I have even used score tape to hem the bottom of my pant leg uh, I don't sew I'm just now fiddling with a sewing machine over the last year uh, I carry a roll of score tape with me when I go anywhere just in case I have a hem issue while on vacation or on a getaway from home or whatever. Uh, so I don't just recommend this for crafting. I recommend it to help keep a hem in place. <laughs> so, uh, but yes, check out Deb's shop. She has very different, various sizes and widths of the score tape. So this is like my number one favorite thing in the crafting world. Okay. And probably the sewing wall too, if you think about it. I'm all for not sewing. Okay, next we have the Starcy Paper Mache Angel Doll Body. And I couldn't believe, I didn't think it was that tall. And uh, But Deb has sizes in her descriptions. I just don't read them. But <laughs> that's on anything. Uh, which you should read them because, you know. Uh, this comes with a fun little... Uh, gold cording so that way you can if you want to make ornaments there you go uh, so I'm going to be doing something with this and I believe it'll be a class so stay tuned for that again that paper mache all right uh, moving on let's see here we have the Maya Road alterable chipboard shadow box now this has 25 slots to it, or squares, and it comes with little pieces of chipboard, but these are being stubborn and they won't go back in their spot. Uh, I think this would be great to do an advent calendar with, or you could do, you know, your, your children, school, you know, different things that they've accomplished or milestones and things like that. Uh, but yeah, it's a really nice sturdy piece. So, but I'm thinking advent calendar. So, that would be fun to do. Okay, now moving on, we have, um, let's see. Okay, brads. Deb has got some of the cutest brads in her shop. Uh, these are just two of them. These are uh, shoes and purses. And let me open these for you so you can take a look at them. I think they're just absolutely darling. And um, here are just a couple of the purses that's in this set. Aren't they just darling? And here is the shoe. Stinking cute, stinking cute. And I think that, no, let's just have two styles of purses. So, yeah just adorable okay and then another set that I have but check out Deb's shop because she has so many cute ones she has animals and she has pets and she has uh, activity ones and oh there's just uh, so many and they're just so darling and so cute and this one is your patriotic one which you can use of course uh, with uh, just being the 4th of July here celebrating our 
country's birthday, or you can use them for uh, Memorial Day, um, Veterans Day, anything, Flag Day. So these are really cute. So that's just a couple of the brads amongst the many that she is now carrying right now in the shop. Okay. Yeah, we have the farm, Farmhouse Primitive Style Scrapbook Sticker Set. And, of course, you can use these for so many different things. And I just think that the image is absolutely darling. And uh, I love that Farmhouse, you know, primitive sort of stuff anyways. And uh, too cute. Way too cute. You could use these for so many different things, you know, not just scrapbooking from our cards you know tons of different things okay now we have the faux pearl and rhinestone strap list strap lit now it comes just like this okay uh, you could clip off your ends I don't recommend you cutting in the centers but you know yeah, if you can figure out a way to do it uh, this would be beautiful wrapped around a bridal bouquet the handle of it you know, uh, you could even, if you're into jewelry making, you probably purchase a couple and join them with ribbon or whatever and make a beautiful little bracelet. Moving on, we have, okay, I'm going to show you that in just a minute. And that too. Okay, Deb carries chipboard in the shop. Let me get this over here. She has this size. Now let me get the sizes for y'all here real quick. She has a 4 by 6 medium natural chipboard blank, which is this one. All right, and it's, it's really nice, okay? And then she has a 6 by 6 medium weight white chipboard blank which is this, okay, very nice, very nice, and then she has the 8.5 by 11 white and the 8.5 by 11 natural, okay, these are fantabulous pieces of chipboard, so you might want to check that out, alrighty, Now, let's see here. She has several of these chipboard embellishments. Now, this one is really cute. It's um, table and jugs. Very cute. You have the cute little table here. Then you have the uh, watering cans or watering jugs, uh, whichever. Uh, do check out Deb's store. She has several different uh, chipboard embellishments for you to work with. I thought that was cute. I just absolutely love that table. Adorable. <clears throat> okay, the Vintage Rhinestone and Metal Embellishment. I just showed you that a little bit ago, but here it is again. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, now, I know that a lot of folks are getting into doing their Christmas decorating, or Christmas crafting, not decorating. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Now, me and my dear friend Pam, we probably would be decorating. Definitely. Because we love Christmas. And I have laid that bag, and now I can't find it. So, oh, here it is. Uh, Deb carries this in the shop. She also has this in natural. And, folks, I'm telling you, I absolutely adore this ribbon. And I'm afraid once it's gone, it's gone. So, if you like it, and want it, get it. Uh, it is so pretty and it makes the cutest Christmas projects. Uh, I mean, you can even use it for your 4th of July stuff. You could use it for Valentine's. Uh, precious. Absolutely precious. And again, she also has it in the natural. So, you know, too stinking cute. I love it. 
absolutely adore. And it's wired, by the way. It's also it's wired. So cool. Cool, cool. All right, next I want to share with you is the burlap trim with faux pearl center. Again, another item that unless you see it, you know, picture not doing nothing. Well, it does, but I love this. So if you're doing rustic wedding, perfect. Absolutely great. It has this beautiful little pearl trim right down the center. Absolutely adorable. Another fave. Shoot, they're all my fave, y'all. Everything. Let me get this wrapped so that way I can get it out of the way here. My room is limited. Okay. Now this beautiful piece here, and this also comes in, oh, I thought it was on this page, oh there it is, it is the cloth embroidered applique, this one is in the gray, and she also has it in a cream, and I absolutely love them both, yes I do. And I think it is just absolutely pretty. Now, it says it's a gray, but it also makes me think of denim. Uh, but that's just me. So, I just love this applique. It's absolutely gorgeous. So, it's a favorite as well. Alrighty. Now, let me do a quick run through here. Alright, next I have the enamel and rhinestone rose embellishment. This one is in the pink and Deb also has it in white. This is a beautiful piece and I'm going to take it out because you can't see it because of the glare. And it's a nice big embellishment. So isn't that pretty? Love, love. You can put a, um, a piece on the back and make a beautiful little brooch out of this. Alrighty. Again, this is by Fab Scraps. Now then, this sheet here is called Cream Soda. And it's double-sided. And it has the little clocks. And then on this side, like I said, see it's very vintage. Very 1950s. And I love that. And this sheet here is called uh, Strawberries. Again, that very vintage 1950. Now, it's not picking this up. This is a really pretty, pretty, pretty pink. And, of course, I love stripes. So, yeah, it's a lot more pink, that sheet is, than what you are probably seeing. This one is called Raspberry. Again, a very 1950s look. And then this it has a, um, like a, um, a milkshake, a strawberry milkshake, maybe, on this side. This sheet, okay, this one is also cream soda. Okay, yes, because I've got two of each. But on this one, here we go, right here. This one is called Lime. And again, this is a very minty type, minty looking green. Uh, the camera's not picking that up, or at least what I'm seeing isn't. And again, a very 1950s vintage image. And this side is also stripes. So, yes, when I seen this, I was like, oh my goodness. Love, love. Again, this is by Fab Scraps. Yeah, that's just really not picking the pink up at all on the camera. So, that, that's something that you just can't help. All right. Now I'm going to show you some of the metal embellishments and there we go. Deb also carries gelatos. She has buku tons of colors to choose from and she has a couple of different sizes. And uh, these are just three of the colors that she carries. This is a blue and a purple and then a light blue. Uh, so if you're into the gelatos, check them out. They're really cool. And these are also great for uh, coloring, you know, uh, like your modeling paste. You can also use them for that. And uh, 
You could even use them on your laces if you want to change the colors up. So be sure to check out her shop for all of her different uh, gelatos that she carries. Okay, now these beautiful little pieces right here, green and pink floor glass lamp work, European beads. And you get a set of four of these. And Deb has three different styles of beads in the shop. She has uh, these, and then she has one with a beautiful rose, and then she has uh, a blue and a teal. And to me, those are very, um, I think of the ocean when I see those. And you probably can't see these very well. I'll give that a second. Because it could be my camera. Okay. But do check these out in the shop because uh, she has a uh, very good picture of these. And so if you're into doing, um, you know, beadwork, uh, jewelry making, um, stick pin making, check these out because these are very pretty and they're nice size too. Okay, and you get a set of four. Very pretty. And again, as you can see how these come packaged. And I, oh, again, like I said, these come in a nice little packaging that you can place on a pigment. Now, when you order your embellishments, they come in these awesome little organza bags. Um, when you order from Deb's shop, so then you have the little organza bags for a Take Two project. Everybody knows I love the Take Two projects. Okay. Now, these are new to me getting these pieces here. Uh, these are the uh, fairly new items, newer items in the shop that I have not worked with before. Okay. And then let me get these out. These are some older ones and that I have demoed with before as well. And this one is probably my all-time favorite embellishment that she carries. This one right here. Okay, well, let's see here. This one is the 22 millimeter polar muscle at oval cabochon. Very pretty. And it has just a slight arch in it. And it's an oval shape. Okay. Next thing I'm going to share with you, fine folks, is the faux pearl and rhinestone crown. And Deb also has another crown that is a pink rhinestone, and it's a little larger than this. Okay. Next, we have the pearl and rhinestone scalloped round embellishment. Another favorite of mine, okay, and it has the uh, nice, I guess it would be your concave, so that way, you know, attaching. And then we have the faux pearl and rhinestone rounded corner bowl, bow in the ivory, okay, another cutie. And then we have the faux pink pearl and rhinestone five petal flower embellishment, which this one is a fairly new piece to the shop right here. Very pretty. The color is absolutely gorgeous. And then we have the faux pearl and rhinestone curved embellishment, and that would be these right here. And I thought these would be absolutely beautiful to put around a bridal uh, bouquet. All right, uh, the handle of it, depending on how wide your handle is, you know, maybe, possibly. I'll probably have to play with that. Uh, like so. But anyhow, those are absolutely adorable. And these would make really cute earrings. So there's those. And then we have the one inch silver alloy rhinestone embellishment. This is very pretty and also a new piece to the shop. 
and uh, it almost has like little teardrop shapes all around it. Another very pretty piece. Okay. The beaded floor applique cabochon in a soft white. Yes, that is the name of this one. One of my absolute faves. And then we have this one right here, which I have not mentioned. So let me find here it is. It is the six petal daisy elongated pearl and rhinestone flower embellishment. Also another fave of mine. Very pretty. It almost makes me think of starfish almost. Okay, and there's some of the beautiful embellishments that Deb has in her shop. Alrighty, I think I have gotten everything mentioned. And I appreciate you taking a look at the products. Sorry that it did take a few minutes. But in the meantime, I want everyone to have a wonderful day. Enjoy your crafting time. Be sure to stop by the shop. Deb does have quite a few uh, items on clearance. And she has a, feature, a lot of items that are on a featured sale. So, you know, be sure to check over there and uh, see what all she's got going on. And again, tons of new products in the shop. So, alrighty then. Well, thank you again for stopping by. And until next time, y'all have an absolute wonderful day. Bye-bye.